Space, cold and vast, an unknown to mankind, our sense of adventure drives us to what lies beyond our beautiful blue planet. Will we find out we're alone in this universe, or meet peaceful space voyagers? Or possibly, just possibly, we may find our eradication out in the void. That's what a few brave souls are sent to find, to seek the truth, and become Space Raiders! In space! Space Raiders in Space is a satirical wave defense roguelike mixing squad management and tower defense from the developers at Two Stupid Devs. The game has two different game modes, Endless and Story. The story revolves around Andy and Heather that have followed a strange signal through space, upon their arrival are greeted to a hive mind species, but unexpectedly, they are friendly. Seven years go by in peace and harmony till, one day, as you might expect, it's a wave shooter with aliens, they attack our two protagonists. They flee with their non-hive mind pet Murphy to return to civilization, only to see that the hive is on the move as well. Uncover the truth of the betrayal that has occurred. Space Raiders in Space is a unique one in my book, and that may have something to do with the comedy that's in this game. Brash, dirty, and a little dry. Kind of like your girlfriend after showing her your toenail collection. The way the group communicates with each other, the condensating descriptions, it's something that's always tickled my fancy that kind of started with a small game called Conker's Bad Fur Day. The objective is simple, survive by building up your defenses and looting your surroundings. Your crew revolves around five basic orders, attack, defend, cower, search, and build. All self-explanatory, but the search is an important one. Searching uncovers the necessary items that you need to construct your defenses, but you'll also find weapons. Now this is important because weapons have degradation in this game, so you'll need to keep a steady supply of guns to keep you alive. There are a nice selection to choose from. SMGs, assault rifles, snipers, crossbows, Tesla guns, and RPGs, all with varying tiers. You also have a wide variety of defenses, barricades, turrets, mines, over a dozen to choose and set up the way that you want, and keep the bugs from poking at you jiggly bits. I love to make a perimeter with the defense points and surround them with rifle turrets, proven to kind of keep anything and everything at bay. The game also changes up the levels by expanding out the search perimeter after each wave, giving you more room and possible defense points if you choose. Now, I never did this. It seemed better to stay at the center point of the attacks. And after a few rounds of killing the younglings, it's time to move to the big leagues with the bosses. And as far as I know, there's about three different bosses with their own strengths and weaknesses. But one thing is for sure, they all have massive health pools, so get ready with some heavy hitting weapons. In the Endless mode, you'll have a chance to leave after each wave if you choose, but it will cost food. Between the levels, you'll have an interaction or event that'll occur, and you must make a decision on it, which can help or hinder you on the next level. As expected, they are weird, awkward, and sometimes don't make sense. Graphically, it has a well-illustrated comic book style. Now, this seems to be a new trend coming around because I have reviewed quite a few games with this type of art style. Level design is great with wonderful sets and changing spawn points for the aliens to keep you kind of on your toes on some levels. Sound design is slightly repetitive, but in all honesty, it's a wave shooter, you expect that. And like I said before, the conversations that the characters have are just icing on the cake for me. Music, it's not bad. It sounds more like background tension music and honestly gets drowned out by all other sound effects. At least for me, it wasn't truly memorable. So, if you're a big roguelike fan, or in all honesty, if you're a big tower defense person, you're gonna love this game. I've put about 9-10 to 10 hours into it, I still go back and play some of it trying to get a high score. Granted, it is repetitive, but it is that good repetitive that really just drives you to keep going further and further, and seeing what that next boss is, or how long can you hold out on this level. So, if you guys are interested in this game, it's gonna be a link down in the description, as well as the Discord. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Leave a like if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe if you've made it this far. You must like my videos, so you want to see more of them, right? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can keep on up to date. And yeah, like always guys, I'll see you in the next video, and have fun killing bugs.